it's easy to take geology for granted. I mean, it's easy to look around at something like this and say it's just a pile of rocks. But really, if you know what you're looking at, it tells the Earth's story, it tells our story. And if you look into them hard enough, you really look at the details, you can do something that a lot of people say is impossible. You can travel through time. So I know it looks like I'm standing in a desert right now. It's pretty dry, it's pretty shrubby, but I'm actually have my feet planted on a Cretaceous ocean. Now on that side, we have the beginnings of the sea coming in. About 97, 98 million years ago, we have the beginnings of what's called the Western Interior Seaway, this warm, shallow sea that connected from the Arctic up north down through the Gulf of Mexico, splitting North America in half. So on that side, it's just beginning to come in, just kind of lapping up against the shores. But by about 95 million years ago, we have this here on my right. Now, even though the Maori shell represents a prehistoric ocean, the fossils found in it aren't preserved in the sand, they're preserved because of ash. And that allows really, really delicate fossils that we wouldn't otherwise find to be preserved in this particular layer. There are things like these really small coil-shelled ammonites, things like the chambered nautilus today, but like an archaic cousin of that living cephalopod. Really delicate plant fossils and fish scales, all these tiny, tiny vestiges of life from a 95 million year old ocean.